What's up, everybody? It's your man, Danell, a.k.a. Small Guy Promotions, a.k.a. The Omaha Fatty, coming with another podcast episode of What's Up, Omaha. And uh, today, you know, I just want to talk about the holiday season. Um, again, being grateful. I, I did the uh, 12 Days of Christmas, where I talked about things that I was grateful for um, and appreciative of having. And I I just want to continue to talk about that a little bit. Um, That was a couple of weeks ago. So two podcasts ago. Uh, Last week we had a guest, Rich Bach of uh, the Bach Real Estate Team. And uh, we we talked with him. Really good conversation. Make sure to check that out if you have not checked it out yet. Um, Yeah, so today, again, we're just going to talk about the holiday and being being grateful. First, I'd like to shout out my wife, Mitzi, for shopping local for us. Um, We got some really great things. Hold on. Got a bag full of stuff here. So my wife went and shopped for us at Made in Omaha out at uh, Countryside Village, 87 the Pacific. And... One of the things that she got was some hot sauce. Crazy gringa hot sauce for me. See that? Crazy gringa. Yeah. And all this stuff, again, is made in Omaha, so that's what's exciting about it. I already ate the jerky. Uh, It didn't take long. It only took me two days. But, uh... Got some smoking gun applewood beef jerky. And then Daniel's Farms pickled dilly beans, pickled green beans. Yeah, those things. We're going to get some more (laughs) of these pickles. So shout out to Daniel's Farms. Yeah. That stuff was so good. And then she got some uh, bath bombs for one of my daughters. And then um, she got, I think, some hand sanitizer. And, well, the hand sanitizer was because it's my youngest daughter's name, Aria. Uh, So she got her some, uh, I I don't, it's Aria something, Aria, Aria Rose or something like that, I think the name is. She got her some of that. And then I I think that was from Made in Omaha, if I'm correct. And then she got my oldest daughter uh, a candle or two uh, from from there. So we shopped local. Um, Outside of that, you know, I, I went shopping for gift cards. Oh, no, no, wait. There's one more thing. One more thing that my wife got. She got me a gift card to one of my favorite places. You know, she already got me the jerky, right? She also got me a gift card. Can y'all see that? To Stoysage Meats. A favorite place of mine. That will uh, come in handy for sure. And then the places that I went and shopped local... Uh, were for gift cards, and I just bought for the family and um, our mail carrier. Um, Lighthouse Pizza had a gift card deal going on, so it was twenty five dollars and get a five dollar gift card. So I got a twenty five dollar gift. Well, I asked them to split it twenty dollars and and ten, so I could give the ten to my mail carrier. And then also, I don't know if it says it on here. <laughs> yeah. Los Tapatios, they had a deal where if you spent $50, you got a $10 gift certificate. Oh. See that? Yeah, so you got the certificate. I got the gift card, so we're good to go. 
Los Tapatios. Sorry, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm in a new location. I guess I should talk about that too. And I'm doing a <laughs> podcast with a mask on and I'm by myself. So you're probably like, why is he wearing a mask? Well, we are actually uh, at my in-laws. So we just we just came out for the day. So we are wearing uh, masks just to make sure that, you know, we try not to get them sick if, uh, you know, we should happen to have something or whatever. So we're just trying to be safe. Uh, we're out in Hastings. So just a day trip came out this morning and we'll we'll spend a few hours here and have some lunch and then we'll be going back home. Uh, so yeah, those are the things that we got to support local. So shout out to my wife, shout out to all those makers and restaurants for uh, just being there and having good stuff that I enjoy. Um, yeah, it, it was a good time. We got to sit back, chill. Um, I personally like having Christmas just at home, being able to chill and relax. Um, if you guys can hear that in the background, I don't know if you can or not, but they're, uh, they're, 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 uh, watching church, uh, right now. So they're attending church and I'm down here podcasting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoy just sitting at home, chilling and relaxing and eating. We had ham and green beans and stuffing and, you know, some Hawaiian rolls and my wife made some fruit salad that my oldest daughter requested. So yeah. Uh, it was a good day. Santa brought some stuff for the family. We got, we got the, uh, board game sequence, which is really cool. Um, if you've never played it, it's a, it's a game where you can play in as individuals or as teams. Um, but the goal is like, you get two decks of cards. You take the jokers out. Um, all the jacks are wild. Uh, if you have a two eyed jack, you can, it gives you an extra place on the board. The board is just a bunch of different cards. Uh, and you have to make a, a five, a run of five in a row for a sequence. If you're playing teams, you have to get two in a row or not two in a row, but two sequences. So two runs of five chips. You have, everybody has chips and you put them on the board, you flip the card and wherever the card is at, you find it on the board and put the card or put the chip down. Uh, so we had fun with that. We, we played some team games with, you know, my daughter and me and then, my wife and my other daughter and then we last night we played some individual games just my oldest daughter and my wife and i we had a good time so that's a very good game so shout out to santa for bringing a uh, sequence my daughter got a skateboard um you know we got we we got some good stuff for the kids and uh but you know the biggest thing for me was just being able to spend the day with them once again and then enjoy time and you know i know it's been a crazy year and a lot of people were struggling, so it's just even more paramount that we take that time to sit back and uh, be grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that and to be able to provide for the kids. And, you know, that's what it's about. I don't I don't need anything for Christmas, uh, but to see the kids happy, you know, that's, you know, <laughs> it's just like a really good thing and to see them smile. So that is what Christmas was. Um yeah, we we thought we would watch. Did we watch a movie? I don't I don't think we watched the movie. Uh, you know, sometimes we we tried to sit back and chill and watch a movie. But I watched. Uh, I had the basketball game on. It was uh, the Lakers and Dallas, the Mavericks. Um, yeah, but I don't. Th yeah, we didn't watch a movie. So there's football on before that. But we just chilled. We just chilled, spent family time, quality time together, and it was good. My mom called. We talked to her for a little bit, um, and that was it. We didn't do anything else. Didn't go outside. Um, it was a good time, man. So, <sighs> Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to anyone who's catching the podcast, and uh, yeah, man, I hope that you guys we're able to spend some time and relax and just not worry just let all that stuff go and just be with I, I know a lot of people weren't traveling and whatnot and um the only reason that we even traveled is because my my 
my kids hadn't seen my father-in-law for a year. We were talking about it on the way here. I don't think we were back since last Christmas. So, um, you know, we're trying to practice caution, uh, but we had to get out here. Uh, if you didn't catch my podcast two weeks ago, um, my father-in-law has been battling cancer. So, you know, we wanted to make sure to get out here. We didn't get come out for Thanksgiving because we were quarantining because the girls had exposure at school and stuff. Each of my girls had exposure. Um, my oldest had a girl who sits at the lunch table with her who tested positive. So she had to quarantine and uh, my youngest daughter uh, is in elementary and they stay in their classrooms and one of the kids in the classroom tested positive so she had to quarantine so you know we didn't get to come back for thanksgiving um and yeah you know I, i'm i'm definitely down to like not travel and do my part but this is a special situation where we we felt that it was best to come out and uh you know my wife especially i want want her to be able to hang with her mom and dad and stuff and you know do what we need to do as a family so uh that's what we did so i hope that you guys whatever you determined was best for your family uh i hope that you did that as well and that you were able to enjoy the holiday you know the holidays are tough times in a normal year uh you know for different reasons different stresses uh but this year is definitely <laughs> a different um a different set a different level of of stress so Please just take the time when you can and enjoy life and every breath as much as you can. Um, yeah, man. So 2021 is almost here. 2020 is almost over. We don't know what 2021 will hold or what it will bring. But uh, let's just try to do things out of love. Because if you're doing it out of love, it's not much that can go wrong. It's when you do things out of, you know anger or hate or frustration is when things start to fall apart a little bit so when you're doing something just kind of think like am i doing this for the right reasons um and, and just help other people man be 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 good to other people spread love spread joy happiness all that we we can do it together i believe it but we just have to have people who are open-minded enough to know that uh we are stronger together than we are apart you know divided we stand or uh, <laughs> together we stand divided we fall you know it, it's that old saying so <sighs> you know the year has gone fast and as we get older time just continues to speed up and and we need to take advantage of those opportunities when we have them now i'm gonna switch gears real quick um yesterday was <laughs> a really exciting thing uh for for small guy promotions and what's up omaha so you know i do the podcast through anchor shout out to anchor um the platform that makes it super easy for you know whether you're just starting off or you know you know if you've been doing it for a while like myself i've been doing podcasts for a couple of years now it was off and on uh but now i've been more consistent and making sure that i'm holding myself accountable and doing weekly podcasts and getting the information and the content out there but uh i got an email last night before i went to bed from anchor that said that i have my first podcast supporter what that means is and i don't talk about it a lot because i don't like to ask for money for the podcast i feel like if people you know want to support they can but you know maybe i should drop it out there from time to time I did turn on the feature um, this morning on the Anchor platform for supporters to add add the link in the link uh, the show notes. But basically, what a podcast supporter is is someone who listens to the podcast and they they want they they're thinking, hey, what can I do to help Danelle? What can I do to help Small Guy or What's Up Omaha? And there's different plans. You know, there's a 99 cent a month plan. There's $4.99 a month, and then there's $9.99 a month. And I've talked about it, you know, I couldn't tell you the last time that I talked about 
uh, getting supporters because again it feels weird to you know ask people for money and I feel like if people want to there's no pressure they can and but yeah I got the email I hadn't asked for any su support at all in that uh, manner and I don't know how long and you know it popped up and it just made my night so shout out to Ryan Burden my friend also our insurance agent <laughs> but shout out to Ryan Burden of Farm Bureau Insurance um, yeah man it was quite the surprise and again it made my night before I went to bed and I, I was just like dude like 99 cents like when you think about it it's not a lot but it's the when people say it's the thought that counts that is definitely a situation where it's the thought that counts because just the idea that someone would want to invest into what's up Omaha and what I'm trying to accomplish it's a wonderful thing so again huge shout out to Ryan Burden of Farm Bureau Insurance and if you he actually has been on the podcast before um, <laughs> if you would like to be a financial supporter of one of those plans as mentioned 99 cents four dollars and 99 cents or nine dollars and 99 cents a month you can do that um, you just sign up on the website or the app and I'll have the the link again in the show notes where you can do that if that's something that you're interested in again no pressure at all uh, I, I've been doing fine and at first I was like you know I, I, I feel bad for getting money because in my life you know we are okay uh, financially so it felt kind of weird for a second and I was, I was telling my wife I said I haven't really spent anything on my podcast and my wife's like well you bought a microphone you bought a light you know we bought this laptop that I'm using right now so I guess we have spent a little money doing the podcast nothing major but uh yeah the whole goal behind uh, anchor having that as an option for uh, fans and supporters is to make things a little easier on the person podcasting and to help them with any fees or any uh, expenses that they accrue uh, while doing the podcast. So shout out to anyone who's interested in doing that. Hit me up if you have any questions. Again, no pressure. I can't stress that enough. There's no pressure to do it. But if you want to, the link is out there. And for as little as 99 cents a month, you can be a supporter. Uh, <laughs> and then outside of that man just we got another short week coming up new year's eve is right around the corner uh it'll be a new year so i know a lot of people are probably making new year's resolutions i don't make resolutions because i feel like why wait until the new year you can start today you can start right now if you want to make a change in your life uh but yeah if you're doing that more power to you please stay strong and don't burn out in the first two months or three months of the new year um yeah that's it man that's that's all i got shout out to all the people out there podcasting shout out to all the people out there listening or watching podcasts you know and again if if you follow the what's up omaha podcast we're out there on the major um, plat audio platforms like anchor spotify apple podcast google podcast Castbox, radio public iheart radio there's so many different ones and then the video is always on YouTube on the Small Guy Promotions page, What's Up Omaha. If you love what you're hearing and love what you're seeing, please share with your friends and let them know about Small Guy Promotions. And that's what it is, man. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful holiday season. Remember, smile, help someone else smile, laugh, and help someone else laugh all day, every day. Yeah! Peace out, y'all.